Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. What's up, Sally? What's up? Do not adjust your television set. <laughs> These are the outer limits. Oh, my God, he's phasing out of reality. Oh, Max no. Pedrum is taking over. No, okay. Yeah. Vader right. was trying to see. Vader doesn't knows what I said and wants to destroy my view. Speaking of Vader, there is a VR game called Star Wars Vader Immortal. What the hell is that about? Do you get to like fight Darth Vader, like and, and run from Darth Vader and get hunted by Darth Vader? What the hell? I, I know it didn't show much. It was a teaser, but. I'm on board because we're the Star Wars games are kind of lacking lately. So yeah, absolutely, I'm on board with that one. Yeah, it looks interesting. Uh, it looks good, but I need more. Jane than Earl just, Jones, though, voice yeah. of Vader. Come on! Yeah. I know that's that's the only thing that that makes the. Uh, Makes the ad good. Makes the te- to me. This is a teaser. It's not the actual trailer. It is a teaser. But I'm on board, though, bro. Yeah, Come on. It looks good, but I need more than All just right. hearing James Earl Jones doing the whole. Not doing it for you, yeah, right? All right. Yeah, I mean that's the only that's the only thing that gives it a good thumbs up for me because they've got James Earl Jones. But I okay. need a lot more than just the whole. Just to get a whole, because you would have to get a whole system. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next bit of news. Hellboy is – the Hellboy reboot is delayed. That's what I saw today. Which yeah, is honestly it. bad effing news. Yeah. Because it was going to come out in January. Yeah. Which it was safe, but now you're getting close to Avengers territory. That's right. And Captain Marvel territory. And mm-hmm. – the and isn't it Shazam territory? Like, I like, think so. I'm gonna have to go back and look. Let's time. get to the release it, schedule. I know it's just knocking at that door. Let's get to the release schedule because I gotta tell you right now, I think they're in trouble. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, Shazam comes out in April. Pet yeah. Cemetery, Doctor Doolittle. Uh, now, right before that, the month before that, you got, uh, How to Train Your Dragon, Captain Marvel, Dumbo, and then right after that, because I know that they want to put the Avengers out in April. Yeah. I heard. Because they want to do the whole uh, April thirtieth. Yeah, April meaning Avengers. April thirtieth or May third is going to be Avengers. Yeah, they they either need to put it further yeah. down the line. They definitely they cannot. That's they a think. mistake. Yeah, that that's gonna the, the movie is gonna bomb. And, you cannot yeah. somebody contact Lionsgate. Yeah, and tell them get out of there. Get, delay yeah, it till August. Need, they're going to need at least three months. I'm going to say three months, three yeah. four months at least. you got to get the hell out of there. Yeah. You're going to just – this is going to be a bad Samaritan situation. It's going to get oh, wrecked. Yeah. There's no way it's going to do good at all with all these movies out. I'm, even if it's a great movie, it, yeah, you've got to get it out of Avenger, there. Avengers is going to pretty much kill it. It's going to send need, them back to hell. Three to four months after that. Yo, somebody – Listen, not only should you have a person that schedules properly, but somebody has to somebody has to look at the release schedule. Yes. Somebody's gotta do this. Because you cannot just come out in April like that. No, no. It's gonna get wrecked. And all this hard work and dedication, somebody's an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm not mm-hmm. trying to put anybody down, but somebody's no, an idiot. No, you're dead on somebody's an idiot. Being an idiot. And I'd rather call them an idiot and them get angry and delay it than them actually come out and bomb the shit out of their movie. And then want to wind about how, oh, you know why I didn't do it? I didn't get so much money because you put it out of the Get it out. Or mm-hmm. near at least the week or near the week of Avengers and all these other top movies, which you knew full well was going to take the lion's share, pardon the pun, the lion's share of your proceeds. Listen, dude, don't be a hero. 
Okay, don't try to be like, I'm going to get Shazam Avengers. Like, yeah, look at me, yeah. yeah. And then your movie bombs to shit. And then yeah. you don't have a job ever in the industry. Please don't do this. Let go of the ego. Get out of there. Delay it to August. Get it out of there. Mm -hmm. They're not going to listen, though. And, and we've said it many times, even with The Mummy. You're not going to listen. You're going to get wrecked. So just get that movie out of there. I don't want to see it in April. I'm not, I mean, nobody's going to watch it. They're going to be watching all yeah. sorts of stuff. Now, we also got a trailer today. Creed 2. Did everybody yeah, see the second that. trailer? It was, good. it was quite good, I have to say. I'm just a little... Supposed to be we're supposed to get Dark Phoenix, but I don't know if it's uh, true or not. Tonight, right? Yeah. We're supposed to get it. I mean, I'm a little worried about Creed 2. A little bit. Because I don't want it to be like the same old, oh, I'm... I'm then it's gonna oh, in other words, Rocky 2 or something like that. No, it's just, you know what it is? The way they're talking, they don't give themselves... Uh, enough room for sequels. The way Michael B. Jordan's talking, he wants to do like three more creeds, right? But if this guy's the most unstoppable guy ever and he's going to hurt you where you're never going to recover, you still got to fight three more movies. I mean, it's like, yeah. you, you got to understand, like, you can't just, I'm a little worried. I mean, maybe it will work out, but I'm a little worried. All right? Um, so there's that. Uh, what else do we have to talk about? Okay, so we did have casting going on for Birds of Prey. Some people are happy. Some people are not. People Poor are happy. Mary, I saw the kiss. Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who was in Scott Pilgrim, if we remember, yeah. is is has the role. She's going to be the huntress. Where people oh, are all in for them. Now, the role of Black Canary, uh, people are kind of, like, not sure of. Yeah. Um. So long so, as she does, to me, so long as she does a good job, it's not to me. Now her name is uh, Germ uh, Journal Swollen Bell. Okay, now again, I don't know her from Adam, so I'm not going to be against her. I'm not like I want to see what she has yeah. done. But when you're doing a big movie like this, you need to have people, I would think, that are known. You know, unless unless they're doing about that. unless the only thing I can think of. Remember with the Christopher Reeve Superman. They got, uh, he was not well known, but yet they got, uh, I understand, yeah. and all that. And Ned Bailey right. as their pull in, sort of, let's put the, their pull in big actors. So, unless they're doing that type of setup, yeah. Well, well, also, too, if you're Margaret Robbie, you don't want anybody to out, you know, shine you. True, true. Well, that's true, but is she gonna outshine her, you think? I don't know. I'm just saying, you're not gonna want anybody in your movie that's gonna. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, oh, another thing. Andrew Lincoln is headed back to Atlanta to be a director for Walking Dead. He said he can't let it go. He wants to be a director for some episodes, and that's what he's going to possibly do. Um, so that's how he's going to stay with Walking Dead. He's going to do a few. He's going to learn to become yeah. a director and direct, which is interesting. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, at least he knows. That's good. Yeah. Maybe he'll actually come back. A lot of actors, anyway, they learn their stick. At, I'm really hoping they don't kill him off so that way he can come back and he changes his mind. Yeah. Because that would be, you know. Another thing, Happy Death Day sequel. They're making a big deal out of it. Like, it's going to be amazing. It's called Happy Death Day to You. Uh, but they're really p piping this up like amazing. Uh, I did like the movie a lot. I thought it was mm -hmm. excellent. I do look forward to the sequel. So there's that. Um, I like the first one. I'm just real reluctant because to me it didn't really open up. It didn't. To me, it should be a one shot. We also got word that Marvel is definitely sticking with Netflix with Daredevil for three I more heard, seasons yeah. after this. But while that's happening in the comics, Daredevil is going to completely end. I guess he's going to die for good, for real, not coming back. So I'm a little worried about that yeah. in Marvel Comics. And that's happening yeah. soon. We got some stuff going on in Marvel right now. So I'm a little worried about who's running things in Marvel that they're doing this stuff with the characters that maybe they don't like the characters and they want to give I'm not happy. Four years later, Derry's back. Yeah, I'm, that's the thing. I'm not happy with, you know, people doing stuff that's... It's not going to stick if it's, you know, and then it's, no, it's how you explain it. It's gonna this be is going to be one of those Superman things where he comes yeah. back four years, three, yeah. five so years. So listen, we're going to have to cut this short because I'm getting info that we might be getting the X-Men trailer and I do want to see it. 
Yeah, me too. That's, that's what I thought they already walked, but, they, but somebody uh, just yeah. inter- they took the last X Men movie and yeah. We're going to come back in a little while, so we're going to end this purposely because of the X-Men thing. I want to check it out. When it, if it's going to drop any minute, I don't know. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye for now.